so let's go on transform data okay so this this is power query editor so basically we have added the custom column here now if you observe carefully the time is arranged in between like half of our duration okay nearest to the half hour duration so what we are going to do if we want to change to one hour duration means for example time should be nearest to either 11 a.m then 12 p.m then 1 p.m like this so we have already made this formula okay so we will just open this so in this particular thing instead of 30 we will divide it by 60 okay if you do so if you click on ok so it will automatically change okay now what we have to do we have to just change the data type and we will change it to time so now if you observe carefully the time is in duration of either 12 pm then 1 pm like this nearest to one hour okay so this was the trick now we will click on close and apply okay now let's create a bar graph to see uh, what changes are there with the time okay so I'll take one visual bar visual okay on y axis uh, I'll put custom time and on x axis I'll take total orders sorry on y x sorry on x axis i'll take custom time and on y axis i'll take total orders so see we have this visual now so basically the peak hour is this one okay 1 pm so we have like total 2686 orders in between these 1 pm and 2 pm okay so now it is more appealing right we can withdraw the information from this particular graph but previously we cannot conclude any information from the graph okay so because of these particular changes with the help of function we can draw a conclusion okay so this is very important now our next task is let's say we want to check the total order based on weekdays okay so how to do that one okay so for that also what we have to do we have to go on transform data okay I'll click on transform data power query editor will open so basically if you go in this particular order table we have date table right so from this particular date we have to fetch the day okay so basically system knows what was the weekday on this particular date okay so what I'll do just right click this okay after right click there is one option duplicate column click on duplicate column okay and let's rename this one okay we will rename it as weekday okay after that uh, what we have to do we have to click on a uh, right click it okay there is one option transform here under transform just go on day and select name of the day okay so see we have got the names of weekday just click on close and apply it's loading so now what we can do we can create one visual we can create one visual okay so in this particular visual on y axis we can keep weekdays okay and on x axis again we can keep total orders so see we have highest order on friday that's interesting right because week off is usually on saturday and sunday but the total number of orders were highest on friday okay so this is our visual for total orders by weekday so this is how you can transform date into weekday okay so we have learned different different things okay so basically if time is given and if you want to change the time to the nearest hour okay how to do that use transformation of data we have derived the formula for that one if date is there we can 
uh, withdraw the weekday from that particular day date okay now let's see what different visuals we can create for this particular data set we will arrange this particular visual later on okay now one more important thing with this particular data set we can draw one heat map okay we can create one heat map so basically that particular heat map will show uh, what were the peak hours and what were the total number of hours in that particular uh, so total number of orders in that particular peak hours okay so how to create a heat map so basically for creating a heat map you can use this matrix visual okay just enlarge it so basically what fields we need for this matrix visual first one is the row so in that particular row uh, we will add weekday okay we'll just enlarge it a bit okay now in columns we will add custom time okay and for values we will add total order okay so if you just enable the focus mode so this is our visual okay uh, just a minute I'll just rearrange it so that it will be visible completely so now see uh, the complete uh, heat map is visible actually so let's do one interesting thing on this particular heat map so basically what we were going to do uh, here uh, values are there so based on the values we will decide the color okay dark color for highest order and the light color for the lowest order so if you click on this particular visual okay and if you click on this particular arrow so there will be an option of conditional formatting just select background color okay so for the lowest value we will select this light color and for the highest value we will select this dark red okay if you click on ok so see this is our heat map okay and it will tell the complete story of the particular data okay uh, now uh, next we will just rearrange our visual so that all information will completely visible in one window okay so we have concluded all the information we have concluded the week hours we have peak week hours we have uh, concluded the peak week days okay we have calculated the sales we have calculated the total orders we have calculated the total quantity then we have calculated the sales by each and every category okay so we'll just rearrange the uh, these particular visuals one more thing which we can do is we can find out the total number of orders or we can show the total number of orders by pizza name okay so we have different different kind of pizza names okay so for that particular thing uh, what we can do we can use pie chart actually okay so I'll drag the name here in legend okay and total orders in values okay so we have these different names of the pizza and if you hover the cursor on each color so it will show the data for that particular pizza name okay so this is fine now we have certain remaining space so in that particular remaining space we will create two to three card visual more two card visual actually okay and in this we will try to show the different information so I have just rearranged all the visuals okay so that our interface should look appealing okay it should look visually appealing okay now uh, instead of this sum of quantity okay what I want to show is how many categories are there okay so just drag this category Okay. and here I'll just click count so it is not showing the numbers actually so we have to go on call out values and display unit will be none so it will show there are four categories okay and for this uh, what are the different names of the pizza okay so I'll just drag the names here how many different types of pizzas are there and I'll just distinct it I'll just go on this one format 
okay go to call out value and in display unit it will be none so it will show the numbers that there are 32 kind of pizzas available in this particular shop okay so all things are done now we have to just rearrange this okay so i'll just select all card visual okay just go to format go to align distribute horizontally so that uh, space between each and every card visual will be same again we have to do it one more time i've just selected every card visual okay go to format align distribute horizontally now next thing is uh, we have to go to general okay go to effect actually so for background color we can use this particular color okay then title is already off okay transparency of background we can keep it as zero percent only visual border will enable the color of the border instead of black let's keep this one actually and round next corner we will select it as near about 20. so it will show the curve portion like this okay and it will look good actually then the next thing is uh, for this particular visual will utilize this space okay this is done after that uh, we have this visual so basically for this particular visual we'll use this format option y-axis will make it bold values like this for title of y-axis again it will be bold similarly for x-axis values will make it bold color will select as black for title it is already black will make it bold okay then the next thing is bars okay so we can use the function here actually or instead of function okay we'll just change the color of the bar like this instead of this particular color we can use different color this will look good okay data label will enable so that it will show the numbers okay and we'll make it bold like this so that the number will be clearly visible okay now uh, for this also we'll just go to general actually go to effect background color we have to decide so background color we will select as this one okay and we'll just copy the format with the help of format printer and we'll paste it like this so I'm just formatting this one now so basically I'll just go to here general effect for background color I'll select this one okay then for title I'll just make it bold okay and then the main thing is okay everything is fine in this one okay I'll just copy and I'll just paste it here
just increase the size of this one. Okay, so almost done, right? Now our next thing is uh, we will select this particular visual. Okay, again we will go to format option. We will go to general effect for background color. Again we will use this one. Okay, for heat map. Then for the complete page, okay, so just go to format your report page, go to canvas setting, canvas background and in color select the same color and make the transparency to zero. Okay, so done. Almost our visual is ready. So basically what information it is showing? It is showing total sales, total orders, sum of quantity, some uh, different types of category, how many categories are there, how many different types of pizzas are there by name. We have learned how to create a heat map. Okay, we have created uh, the bar visual, we have created pie chart, and we have created the donut chart. So this is enough for showing that particular information. Okay, I hope you have liked this video. If you have any doubt, you can post your doubt in the comment box. Okay, I'll provide the data sent link in the description box. Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day.